She's she's at it again. Fucking something like that. Oh, say yeah. Well, it looks like she keeps you well fed. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> good point. <laughs> fucking yeah. little ball busting. Yes, yeah, cheap right now. Yeah, baby. Woo wee, you smell that? It smells like fish out here. I love it. How we doing? What's going on? I'm Gig. Good to see you, my buddy Tony. How's by you. And this is a show called Better Than It Used To Be. A home and improvement DIY show for the Miniverse. Mm -hmm. I figured, why the hell not? Why not? We got a fella that likes to eat spicy food that may or may not poop himself. Got a hobbit from down under. Yeah, just a little fella. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we love him. We got a run down by red. Mm -hmm. We got uh, your favorite condiment. Sorry, Steve, it's not ketchup on your red snapper. Maybe mayo. Yeah, yeah mayo. Like yep, sure. Yep. We got weed guys. We got conspiracy mm -hmm. guys. Mm -hmm. We got mina fans everywhere. They're, you can't stop them. They yeah. all have shows. They do. They do. It's crazy out there, I'll tell you. Well, the one show was missing? What's that? DIY home improvement show. Well, Jesus H, I'll tell you, we got a lot of time on our hands right now. Yeah, I know. You know, it's coming at the best point in time. It is. Everyone's outside doing projects. Yep. Yep. You know, I figured, hell, maybe some of these people actually learn something. Mm -hmm. Right, right. What's maybe, maybe you and I will learn we something. We could, in touch with each other, a little closer, a little, little I like brotherly that. love. I like mm -hmm. that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, what's, uh, what have we got on the agenda today? Well, the old ball and chains, like, oh, we're going to get the garden ready. As you can see, it's wicked nice out. It is wicked it's nice. It's time. The seed's been germinating. Mm -hmm. It's time to get the garden mm -hmm. cranking. Right Yo, now. something's cranking. I'll tell you, the old lady's keeping you well fed up. Yeah, well, you know, but. you know, she might be the ball and chain, but she can cook. So. Yeah, this is true. So, uh... We're gonna get up the house, mm -hmm. and we're gonna uh, we're gonna get after it. Yep, we're gonna get after it. Let's get her done. All right, pal. Do, do, do. Every night. Hop on in. Let's go. Head out on the highway. On in reverse. We're gonna go back in time. Mm, back, back in time. Here we go. Well, you got hair there, Giggy. I'm not sure what the technical term is. I like to call it a fucking Roma Dome. Roma Dome, I believe it's a terrarium, technically. Yeah, that's right, terrarium. So uh, you can get these at your local hardware store. Uh, we actually get these from the weed guy up the street. Couple that way. Couple that way. Which one? <laughs> I know, right? Like a lemonade guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, so what we have here is these seeds that we've had germinating for about maybe two weeks now. We actually start them in a wet paper towel and then we mm -hmm. transplanted them into here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're in mid-May right now. Uh, we're in zone four. Four. You yes. Could, and how do you know? How do you know what zone? I'm glad you asked me that. Right. Well, if you look okay. at the back of your seed package, it's going to tell you what zone you're in. And we're in zone four. It means you want to get your shit in the ground mm -hmm. uh, May and June. Mm -hmm. Now, also on the back of your seed package, you're going to find a lot of handy information. So once you plant all this shit, don't be fucking throwing away mm -hmm. this. You know, I had to tell don't the old ball dang. and chain to fucking not do that. Jesus, I'll tell you, can't live with them <laughs> past the bayonets. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Anyhow, this is going to tell you how long your seeds germinate. It's going to tell you the depth that you plant your seeds. It's mm -hmm. going to tell you your row spacing mm -hmm. and your fucking uh, individual plant spacing. Mm -hmm. yep. So this is all fucking important. You don't want your plants up on each other. No, you don't. You want them about a county girl's ass apart from each other. <laughs> That's right. That's how we measure shit. Go mm -hmm. up to Madawaska, go mm -hmm. find a chick, bring her back here, plant her in your garden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we got your typical main vegetables. Mm -hmm. what, such as? Well, we got cucumbers, we got uh, beets, we mm -hmm. got green beans, mm -hmm. we got squash. Shit yep. that I like to eat pretty yep. much. Yep, fiddleheads is a main vegetable for me, but uh, I don't see them growing here. So, uh, what about the what are kumquats? 
David? Available? No, sorry, no kumquats. Yeah, sorry, Blind no Mike. No juicy kumquats for Blind Mike. <laughs> no. All right, well, uh, you know, what's it entail? What do, we, what do we need for these things? Well, you know, it's pretty fucking easy. It's a plant. We need sun. Sun. And uh, water. Captain Obvious there. Yeah, water. so uh, any of you dinks that are planting a garden for the first time, don't be planting it way over nope. there in the fucking field. No, nope. not in the willy wags. You gotta have it fucking close by. That's right, you gotta have it close to your house because you need it close to a fucking spigot. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna run your hose all the way out there to wall your fucking nope. garden. And these little pricks are gonna need a lot of water. These pricks are. So what uh, What do we need to do? We need to prepare the bed while these guys are finishing up? Or That's what we... exactly what we gotta do. These guys can kind of just chill out right here. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, we'll go fucking do this bed. Let's fucking get it done. All right, buddy. Wow, look at this fucking thing. Fuck yeah, me running. Yeah, a fucking mess, huh? Yeah, so the most important thing is now to get these fucking weeds out here. The weeds will absolutely suck every nutrient yep. out of the soil. It'll suck every bit of moisture right the mm -hmm. fuck out. You got fucking strawberries. You got some moss. You got some regular uh, northern sense of me out here, grass. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Gets one of fucking Sheldon's cows over here to eat all the grass out of it. You know <laughs> exactly. What, well, what if you're not Sheldon and have a, a cow at your disposal? Oh, we just gotta grab your normal fucking shit. You know, shovels, rakes, hose, hose fucking yep. main state flag. Main state flag. You need the old blue top. Yeah, that's that's damn right. Sure. A little bit of fucking elbow grease. Bro. Yes. You gotta roll the sleeves up and get into it. I mean, yeah. they got some cool things too to help out. The garden weasel, those little mini tillers. Yeah, there's all kinds of shit that you can Dirt. go out there and find. Dirt. You better slow it down, buddy. Down. Tell you what. The fuck. I'm trying to shoot a video here. Jesus yeah, so you know, this is the fucking next step. Just gotta prep the fucking garden. Yep, prep the garden. So let's uh let's get some tools to get to it, huh? Let's bust her out, buddy. Alright. Let's light the scandal. <laughs> it's, my, it's my fucking church hat. Wow. Fucking holy. Fucking holy, all right. <laughs> oh, fuck me, run it. Just I'll like tell you that. what's my favorite, though, when I get into the garden. Yeah. Oh, you got a menace rake. Tell you right. <laughs> right, you got a menace rake. <laughs> That thing's sweet. Guy. What, what is he? You gotta be three foot one. <laughs> you got, about, probably about as tall as the fucking fence around this yep. fucking thing. Yep. Yep. If you're this tall, you can ride. <laughs> Menace rake works fucking great. Tell Don't you me. what. The fuck's that thing called? This thing right here. Tell you what. She, she's no mercy. This right here called the claw. Get the fuck out of here. It's the claw. <laughs> the fucking claw. The claw. Yep. The fuck? Yeah, we can file this under fucking shit that Kirk Minahan will never do. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> Kirk has a gardener for this. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Kirk's gardener, Kirk's painter, <laughs> Kirk's, Kirk's, <laughs> fucking, Kirk's fucking ass wiper. <laughs> yeah. These set thing does work pretty fucking good. It actually so. does. Works really good. Uh, <laughs> Danger Ranger. You think we'll be able to go fucking farm the table? Farm the table? <laughs> fucking Big Steve's bed and breakfast. It's always farm the table. Welcome to the Big Steve's bed and breakfast. Like they know no better. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> Yeah, look how much fucking fun we're having. <laughs> fucking party. Yeah, it's fucking great idea, gang. You fucking do a video. <laughs> fucking fucking, it's, fucking. it's all a fucking master plan to get me over here to fucking weed his garden. 
Bingo! <laughs> I'm a fucking genius. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking film a video. It's gonna be uh, gonna put a fucking door, full fucking shed dormer on my house. It'd be fucking great. <laughs> yeah, okay, Greg. They thought we were gonna do I'll, a... I'll be right there. I'll do a video of how to fucking seal a driveway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to come over. Yeah, I'm gonna do my headlights. <laughs> fucking, I feel like Miyagi over here. <laughs> I mean, fucking Daniel, son. <laughs> we weed the garden. Weed the garden. Fucking paint the fence. Fucking wax my back. All right, so I was just hauling my last tap of weeds from the friggin' garden out into the willy wax. In Houston, we have a problem. Problem. You can't have one wheel heading west and one wheel heading east. Camera one, camera two. I'm fairly certain that we got a timeout for tie rods. <whistles> timeout for tie rods. Let's check her out. The old Crapsman mower back at it again. So that is a tie rod and it allows your tires to track together. And when we go on this friggin' side, there she is, she done popped right off. Simple ball joint mechanism. What happens is these holes get loose over time. Uh, goosh. So we gotta fix it before the old lady bitches about the grass. It's tick season, gonna, gonna, gonna bring friggin' ticks in the house, Greg, you bastard. So let's get it done. We'll be back. All right, we got this bad boy limped out front. You know, sometimes when these things pop off, you can just stick it right back there on the ball and uh, you can limp it to wherever she's going. Part number is conveniently written right on there. Made in China, 436887. These things are pretty universal. I know they fit Craftsman's, they fit Poolin's, Husqvarna's, shit like that. So uh, I lubed up my nuts because I like my, my nuts all lubed up. Um, you know, just helps out a little bit. Some of these things can be pretty tough to get off. So, uh, you know, we're gonna just start wrenching on it and uh, see what we come up with. Looks like 9 16 half inch, some shit like that. So, this suck is already loosened up. That was easy, you know. But to get bunged up. I'm gonna fucking That's one. And this one might be a little bit more of a pain in the ass. Can't see a fucking thing. I got goddamn camera in my way. I remember uh, being in an AMA and Kirk saying that. He doesn't mow his yard. I'm like, look at all the fun you're missing, buddy. Jesus. Actually, uh, I like mowing. Get out there, fucking make shit better than it used to be. You know, looks nice and shit. And I don't know, it's good for my mentals. I like it. So. I think we're pretty close there. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, buddy. All right. So, I've already tried to source this sucker. Obviously, it's on Amazon, but it's a non-essential pot. Apparently, it's essential for my fucking lawnmower, though. So, it would take, like, I don't know, a month of Sundays to get this fucking thing, I'm sure. So, um, I'm going to call around some local places, see if I can come up with it. You know, like I said, it's a pretty common part. So, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see what I can come up with.
All right, so there is our old tie rod. And I tried finding it locally, and of course I couldn't find it, so I had to order it on Amazon. So in the meantime, because i got to mow the frigging grass, because the old lady's going to be like, Oh, Greg, I'm going to bring tickets on the house. I came up with this. These are tie rod ends. This is a 3 8 24, a fine pitch. And we've got two of them. we got a little boot here, so it moves. There goes my bushing. I'm going to put a bushing in between them. I have this right here, same pitch. We're going to stick this end in there. Oh, yeah. And we're going to stick this end in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, i got to cut the bolt head off. And then we'll put the, the bushing on it. Oh, and we're going to make this bad boy. So I'm going to go cut this off with a cutoff wheel. Don't want any of your dicks go do this if you're going to hurt yourself. Trust me. I know I've had about 40 stitches in my left hand. Sat when I was 11 years old. Little fat kid trying to eat some bread my mother just made. Picked it up off the cookie sheet. Sliced my damn finger with a Ginsu. Like a dink. So, uh, yeah. All right. I'm going to go get this figured out. we got to cut this bolt head right now. All right. We've got our bolt in the vise. We have a rag wrapped around the thread so we don't bung them up. I'm going to try and cut it as close and straight as possible. If you really screw up your threads, then you'd have to go get a die and chase them. But, you know, we're going to give her a whirl. And uh, if I have to file shit at the end, I will. But, uh, yeah, wear your gloves, wear some safety glasses now. Let's get after it. All right, so this is what we got. I've made better cuts, but I think I'll do the job. So we have, let's see, look at that. It's not too bad. I ain't even bullshitting you because this is the factory end. So this is gonna work out mint guy. So. We'll go ahead. Um, I think our bushings that we got are probably a little too big, like a moron. So I'll just have uh, some washers in there. See how there's flats here so you can tighten them up against each other. And then once you do, I mean, the forces are going to be going like that anyway. So the likeliness of this actually coming undone is very, very slim, which is good. Because I don't want to be fucking hammer it on rabbit speed and have the fucking wheel go. And the next thing you know, I'm ass over tea kettle. And Moe's running me over and I only got fucking three fingers left of some shit. So, I'm gonna fucking... um, we'll go back outdoors and we'll put this together and we'll kind of test fit it and see how we look. Yeah, baby. So we got that lined up essentially. Uh, while I was at it, I cut down that bush and so it fits nice and pretty. So, yeah, we got our... Uh, threaded rod in there and we have now uh, assembled a tie rod so now we gotta see how this biatch fits sure we'll, all right. we'll see you know here's the thing ain't no fuck can I She might be towed out a little bit, so I might have to make a little bit of a, a fine adjustment on that. Fuck it. Let's fire it up, see what she does. Try 
tracking decent. Ciao, FX Tamala. There you have it. Around these parts, we'd say uh, it's good enough for the girls we go with. At least they're both pointing in the same direction now. I can do some fucking donuts. So, uh, yeah, there you go. There you have it. We uh, started off, and now we got to go back to the fucking garden. A woman's work's never done. So, uh, we'll go finish up the garden, and then we'll show you guys how to finish that fucking project up and then we'll get on to the next one god damn it. yeah uncle negative here uh, you know this mo what do you bother mow your lawn for it's just gonna grow back you just wait to the end of the summer it dies and you're all set till the next year Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Would you look at that? There is our properly weeded garden. Look at that bastard. We need a before and after shot of that shit. Yeah, that took time. So now we're at the point where we either have to put some compost to it or some cow shit something some nutrients you gotta get some nutrients in the soil the soil up here in maine is pretty damn good anyway but you know we're gonna help her out we can usually get that shit at the dump however the dump's closed fucking covid guy you know we gotta make do during these pandemics you know we gotta figure it out we gotta figure shit out on our own so uh we're doing pretty good uh we got the mower fixed for fuck's sake mow the yard ain't no fucking ticks out there and now we're about ready to hit this soil and uh, let's get these friggin plants in the ground put the water to them pricks and uh, watch them grow let's do it and this is what we came up with i got an update for you guys the dump friggin closed covid what a bastard so we have the sunshine advanced mix number four growing mix natural and organic microactive earth friendly cocoa kuaya, whatever the fuck that means no burn formula and we have the coast of maine i'm emotional over this one platinum growers mix mm, baby and we got some fish bone meal in there we got some chicken shit in there we got some worm casings we talked about them worm casings oh yeah great for your garden so what we're gonna do is we're going to take the advanced mix and churn that sucker in there like butter and then we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of the coast of maine up on top i think they'll like that so we're gonna get after it folks we're getting after it so here we are, we've germinated our seeds, we've weeded our garden, we've added some nutrients to our soil, and we've uh, tilled it really well. So the next uh, thing we gotta do is actually plant these buggers. Mm, let's get them in the ground. Yeah, so uh, I like to use my middle finger. Mm -hmm. It's about three inches long. Put it next to my pecker, figure mm -hmm. that out. So uh, one knuckle, about one inch. Beets, uh, you can plant in a row, uh, about three to four inches apart. So um, I like to make a little bit of a well, just like this, oh yeah. And uh, grab our little beet here, you know. Our beet has uh, established about, uh, you know, two, three inches, right where it wants to be. Put it in. Where it wants to be or beet? <laughs> oh, waka waka. And, uh, you know, just put it in. You gotta be a little gentle with the old girl. You don't wanna uh, get treated like a lady. Mm -hmm. Finesse it right in there. Finesse it right in there. Yeah. And then, like I said, you get to go just like that. Boom. Mm -hmm. And that's going to tell you where your next one goes, just like that. Hammer it in there. And uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, keep them spaced, follow you your seed packet. You want to have the raised area for uh, some of your climbing yep. vegetables. Cucumbers, squash, zucchini, a few examples. Exactly. And uh, you know, the most important thing, like we were saying before, water, water, water. Water in the morning, water in the evening. You do not water midday. Why is that? That is uh, for a few reasons. One. The water on the leaves on a bright sunny day will burn the leaves, potentially killing your plant. Correct. And B, 
is uh, you, uh, you lose uh, two thirds of the water due to evaporation on a bright sunny day. So you're essentially watering nothing. That's right, we don't want to steam our vegetables before they're done. Uh, oh, but you psh. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's it. Really got to do that. And then we have to be attentive to the weeds. You, gotta, you, gotta, you can't be lazy on this shit. And I'm not going to come weeding your fucking garden for you. I ain't your fucking butler. Mm, no, right? no, it takes a lot of work. You got to keep right after it. Sometimes uh, people do it daily, weekly, but you got to keep after it. Yeah, there's also some critters that could get in here. Yeah. I think uh, I read something about the farm. You read the farmer's almanac? The almanac, of course I read the almanac. What, what's going on? What well, well, I heard this could be a bad year for groundhogs. Groundhogs? Yeah, bad. Groundhogs getting in the garden. Oh, groundhogs, yeah. green worms, a little horn on the front. I think they like tomatoes. Oh, no kidding. Yep, they yeah. get after it. Moose, deer, you name it. That's right. That's one of the reasons why we got this here fence. Yeah. Uh, it's probably about as tall as Menor's. Well, the uh, uh, fence is a little taller. But, yeah, it yeah. could be. Yeah, it could be. Yep. So, uh, yeah, we got uh, moose. We got uh, deer here. Uh, they all like the vegetables as much as we do. Mm -hmm. So uh, we must protect this house. We must. Farm to table right That's here right. at this place. That's right. It's farm to table, baby. Uh, if you live in the city, you probably don't need a fence unless you get a fucking crackhead running around that likes carrots. Yeah, there's plenty of them. Uh, plus, how the hell are you going to throw all the soil and shit in the back of your Honda Fit? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Exactly. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is where we're at right now. We're going to do a little recap for all you dubbers. Just to remind you, a couple of these simple steps. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You know, during the Second World War, the government encouraged the people to grow their own gardens. They were called victory gardens or war gardens. They were used to build morale in the country and supplement the country's rations. The more you know. Oh, look, we got a little ad mouth, a little ad mouth here, Bob. Call off the government cheese check this month, Kelly. I got a bass for that ass. See you later, buddy. All right, so just to recap, rapid fire, go. Pick a seed out, pick a seed out that works for you. Easy vegetables, germinate them a couple weeks in advance so they're ready to rock. That's right. Put your garden in a place, it's well lit, you got plenty of sun, keep it close to the house so you can put the fucking water to it. Plants need, need nutrients, maybe need a little horse shit in there, maybe need chicken shit, maybe we need some coast domain fertilizer. Get your soil prepared, get it turned, get your rows, get your mounds, get it done. That's right, plant your fucking plants. This is the easy part, look at the back of your seed pack, it's going to tell you what time of year to do it. Up here in Maine, we're May and June. Back of your seed pack, it's also going to teach you the depth, it's also going to tell you row spacing and the spacing of your individual plants. Once they're in, two more important steps. Water the living shit out of them, and don't forget to weed the little pricks. Weed that fucking shit. I think that's a wrap. That's it. That's done. Hey, right, thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, let's go have a drink, and you know what? Yeah. It's better than it used it's to be. It's fucking better than it used to be. I think the more it smells like shit, the mm -hmm. better. Yeah, there's a plenty of shit rolling out of this house. <laughs> <laughs> what, Kelly? What the fuck, Kelly? <laughs> yep. Probably about 14 other shows for all I know. Yep, yep. So what do we got going on today? Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to be learning all kinds of shit together. Oh, yeah. And hopefully you and I learn a little bit something about ourselves. We do. Yep. Inner, inner self. <laughs> we do. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of response is that? <laughs> we a, do. You threw a We're curve gonna at me. we learn something like about ourselves. You threw a curve we at do. me. We do. Yeah. Guys, we got weed, guys. You know what we don't have? We don't have a home improvement DIY that, show, buddy. That we don't. That and we that's don't. what we're going to friggin' do for you guys. Fuck. <laughs> this is probably the most giant white perch that I've caught in forever. What the flying fuck? Look at the size of this perch. That perch never get that big. Look at that bad boy. You fillet the hell out of that, sucker. Delish. Seeds that we've been germinating for about two weeks now. These seeds uh, grow easily in New England and you can determine what zone you are in by the uh, back of your seed packet. 
You better slow that thing down. Slow it down, you dank. Jesus Christ. Well, so fucking rudely interrupted. 